Hello folks, hope you are doing great. Welcome to another Adam's tutorial. Today we will be doing the simulation of a simple pendulum. We will learn how to build a simple pendulum in Adam's. Then we'll add properties and define the joints. And finally we'll measure displacement and the forces from the pendulum. Uh, let's get started with the link. Okay, I have 450 mm sorry mm as the length then i'm taking 27.5 as the width and 20 mm as the depth now i will place it somewhere here it okay right at origin then we'll create the bob using a spear i will add to the part uh, define the radius as 25 mm okay i'll just okay. part select the marker uh, i can also just right click and then event location over here will arrive so i can define it at 450 mm and zero and zero Apply. so that exactly places it at the end of the link all right uh, this is done i'll just quickly rename it to pendulum all right uh, let's add some mass properties to this modify uh, user input I uh, will put this as two kilos uh, inertia will be all zero because we are assuming um, you know a, a point mass which is just the pop so there will be no inertia for the link and all okay all right now we also need to change the center of mass location it is right now here you can see okay uh, we need to shift this location to the center of the bob so I'll modify this uh, location would be 450 mm along x direction and 0 0 okay apply all right so location has set just put it to solid all right uh, let's just change the color for this one okay ellipsoid appearance color i will just let's say yellow should look good okay save it once uh, connectors yeah revolute join two bodies one location i'll pick up the first body as pendulum second body is ground and i can just right click and give the location as zero which is at origin all right applied so there goes our joint all right now we need to create a measure okay so we have the joint over here uh, joint one i'll apply a measure we'll measure the force along the x direction uh, the pendulum itself create a step chart okay and another measure which will be the y direction force click okay two strip charts All right. <clears throat> now we need to put an angle measure over here okay so we'll create a reference for this create a reference marker uh, go to construction select marker okay 
uh, add to ground we have xy plane uh, select a location i'll just right click and this will be zero and along the y direction we'll go minus 450 apply okay so this will be a reference location for the angle okay so we also need to create an angle measure uh, we'll go to design exploration then we have uh, where's the angle measure yeah this is the angle measure uh, i'll go to advanced okay so we need three markers because it will be defined with three points so first marker we can pick as the where do you have it as the cm yeah pendulum cm marker the center of mass the middle marker can be okay uh pivot I guess it's marker one yeah and third marker would be our ground marker six which is the reference marker uh, I should have actually named them anyways click ok we have angle measure I'll just rename this first okay. uh, click escape just rename it to pendulum angle okay there we go now we need to set the uh, initial position for the uh, pendulum so go to the joint uh, modify okay uh, we have initial conditions over here so displacement to how much will that be uh, around five degrees so from this angle it will be minus 85 okay all right let's just see how this works we'll go to simulation uh, simulate for two seconds for 100 steps reset before running okay uh, let's just start it alrighty here we go hmm. okay uh, let's just zoom in here okay I'll just simulate again hmm. perfect so we have the sinusoidal force fx and y direction then the pendulum angle is saying changing sinusoidally again all well and good let's just see uh, what difference it makes when we increase the angle so since uh, we are working on the small angle assumption let's just make it to like 60 degrees okay there should be some difference over here simulate again Aha! Uh -huh. Still kind of sinusoidal, but see the force graph over here. It's kind of become you know flattened at this region. All right, folks. This was the simple pendulum simulation. Uh, in the next tutorial, we'll learn how to do a double pendulum and shall observe chaotic behavior of a double pendulum. So stay tuned for that. And uh, as always, take care and peace.